you're either going private health insurance or you're going through what's known as Obamacare, um, the Affordable Care Act, right? Healthcare.gov, it's all the same thing. It's a federally sponsored program that is ran in some cases by each individual state. And so the person is applying for that insurance and based on certain qualifications, how many people are in their household, how much money they make, um, they either receive tax credits that help them pay the monthly cost of the insurance. So that's typically where somebody should 100% first check. And then if they can't qualify for that, they can go look at private insurance. Private insurance, the main difference between private and, and federal insurance is that in the private market, you cannot have pre-existing conditions. So if you have heart diseases, oh, wow, diabetes, any type of medical conditions, the private market doesn't want you, right? The private market only wants healthy individuals. And so it keeps the rates down because they're only giving insurance to healthier individuals. So what happens to the rest of the people that have diabetes, health conditions, they have to go into Obamacare. And that's why it was created. And in Obamacare, in that marketplace, doesn't matter what you have. You can have any type of pre-existing condition. They have to provide you insurance. So that's one of the biggest differences. Within that same state uh, coverage, you find things like um, labor, right? Like maternity coverages. Those things are not offered in private insurance. So if somebody takes out a private insurance policy and they're planning on having children, they're not going to get coverage through those private insurance policies that are out there. And so one of the things that makes insurance so complicated is there are so many different companies offering so many different types of products, and you don't really know which ones are great or which ones are not so good. 